Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today on Tundra Tactical, we're going to be going over the top 10 reasons why we think Space Force is just going to end up being a big disappointment. So stay tuned, thanks for watching, and let's start the show. There's been a ton of talk on the internet over the order to take immediate action in forming a branch of the military that is prepared to operate in space. Space Force! And while this is a very interesting idea and has definitely created some spicy memes, we're gonna let you know why this is likely to be a big disappointment. Uh. Number one. You're not going to be able to get in. Your DD-214 might have been your most prized possession for the last few years, but your love of not having to wake up at 0500 can only be matched by your love of stuffing Cheetos in your face while yelling at sports figures on the television. Most of you won't even fit into a uniform anymore, including myself, and you'd probably look more like a pudgy case of stolen valor than an actual space commando. Number 2. Have you ever thought about why Navy SEALs do six years and then get out to write books? It's because they're so amped up to kick ass 24-7, but unless they're on SEAL Team 6, they rarely actually get the chance to do any ass kicking. Now I'm not saying these guys aren't certified badasses, I'm just saying that there aren't enough bad guys for all the SEALs that we have to keep their blood less satisfied. Now imagine you're on the International Space Station for a year with your Space Force Infantry Company. Space Force! Yeah. Yeah, and there are no bad guys to take your fat aggression out on. Hmm. And you thought Kuwait was a boring deployment. Number three, there's still gonna be first sergeants and sergeant majors in the Space Force. Space Force! And with no grass to cut in space, you're most likely gonna be spending most of your time mopping and buffing the floors in zero G. And I don't need to go into more detail to tell you how dangerous that could be, private. Number four, am I the only one who's followed the Alien movies? Yeah, those guys were super badass, but the likelihood of survival for any measurable period of time was pretty damn slim. Like, worse than a tunnel rat and nom slim. And in the unlikely event that we do come across some face huggers or giant black shiny xenomorphs, let's not forget about the predator, and then ultimately come up with a good reason to shoot them, we're gonna have a new problem. A huge new movement of space hippies littering our streets while the chubby, fat, little video game dweebs end up getting drafted off to slaughter. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. What the f are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do? Maybe we could build a fire, sing a couple of songs, huh? Space Force! Number five. The space shuttle program was decommissioned. Yes, I know, this is the most disappointing part for me because now my dreams of becoming the space shuttle door gunner have been dashed nope. and I might as well just give up and sell all my shit on eBay. Number six. If you've ever spent any amount of time enjoying the nightlife around a military base, you know that drunk enlisted men, yeah, they're pretty much gonna try to have sex with anything that they see. Now, I can only imagine the strain that the medical system will come under trying to combat these interdimensional STDs. Space Force! There isn't enough penicillin in the galaxy to combat the amount of strange things that will be happening to all the space grunts' rotten crotches. It's disgusting. Number seven. You remember that safety briefing that you had before you got two whole consecutive days off in the regular Earth military that ended up taking two hours because you literally had to be told that not only was drinking and driving bad, but so is beating animals and stabbing your friends with sharp objects. Now we're gonna need to explain why all of these things are still bad in space. Space, space, space. Because I guess if some space cadet isn't told not to do it, Space Jag will find a way to make it his squad leader's fault when he rips a line of coke and crashes a star destroyer into the sun to test if it can really destroy stars. Yeah. Number eight. No matter how cool you think you are taking selfies with railguns that you're never gonna get to shoot, the internet will probably be so bad up there you won't be able to upload them to Spacebook. Finally got to say that one. What a great idea. So now your new long distance relationship with that Neptunian stripper won't develop because she won't be able to see just how big of a stud you think you are. 
Number 9. In the past, the military driver's license has been a low-stakes game of master drivers pretending that you took a road test so he can get the entire company qualified to drive a Humvee right after the change of command. Now, imagine that instead of putting some kid behind the wheel of what is essentially a slow truck that has the ability to drive over most things, that same unqualified bozo who can't drive a stick shift is now cruising at hyperspeed through an asteroid field. Space Force! My guess? 15-6 investigations will reach an all-time high. Number 10. It's pretty common to see some Joe lose his weapon on the fob. It is a pretty big deal, but there's really only so much ground to cover before it's found, and his squad leader gets yelled at for not making him tie it to himself. Well, here's a little secret, guys. Space is really big, and hands across the Milky Way until Carl's photon blaster shows up is gonna get really old really quick. So that was our list of the top 10 reasons why Space Force will be a huge disappointment. Space Force! If you dislike this video, then you're probably an invading alien force. But if you like the video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button and share it around with your friends. Consider subscribing to the channel and checking out our Patreon page to stay up to date on current and future content. And if you haven't done so already, head on over into the link in the description below to pick up one of our sweet new Tundra Tactical t-shirts. Thanks for watching guys and you can now find us on Instagram at TundraTacticalMN.